In this lecture, I'll present three sorting algorithms, merge sort, quick sort, and heap sort. These algorithms are more advanced and could be assigned to second level sorting algorithms. First one I would like to show is merge sort. Merge sort belongs to divide and concur algorithms category. Using divide and concur technique, we divide a problem into subproblems. Then the solution to each subproblem is ready, we combine these results from the subproblems to solve the main problem. Let's say we have 8 numbers that are randomly distributed in the array and we want to arrange them in ascending order. We split the array into two halves and go to the left side. Now split the subarray into two halves and repeat the same steps until single element is reached. After that, we go to the right side and do the same steps. Finally, when both sides are fully split, merge function comes into play and combines the sorted subarray into larger arrays until the whole array is merged. Note that single element in the subarray is stated to be sorted. Here you can see how the whole algorithm works. Before explaining merge sort implementation, I would like to show how merge function is designed. Let's say we have 8 arrays with one element. We are working with two arrays at a time. Merged array is defined as A, while left and right arrays can be defined as L and R respectively. At first we define length of both arrays, then iterate steps until there are some elements in both arrays. We compare first element in the left array with the first one on the right. Smaller element goes to the sorted part and is assigned to array A with corresponding index. Now there are no elements on the right side, so the loop is finished. Since there are some elements on the left and they are sorted, we can put them in array A. Right now, first two arrays are sorted. Move to the rest and repeat the same steps. Now left array contains number 32 and right array number 8. After applying merge function, we have another sorted array that contains two elements. Moving on, we can define that our left and right arrays contain more elements and while loop probably iterates more steps. We compare only first elements of our subarrays that are not assigned to array A. At the end, only right array has some elements left, so they are placed at the end of array A. In this slide you can see merge sort implementation. Remember, merge sort is a recursion-based algorithm, so firstly we have to make sure that at some point our algorithm will stop splitting the array in halves. This if statement defines the end of recursion when array size n is equal to 1. Middle point of array is defined by mid variable. In the next step, array is split into two halves, left and right subarrays. Starting with the left subarray, we recursively call merge sort function until there are no splits possible. Then merge function is initiated. We have left and right subarrays and want to merge them into a single one. Let's say compared element from the left subarray is red and element from the right subarray is blue. By merging them into a new array, we place these elements in ascending order. Repeat the same steps with the right side. After that, we have two subarrays with two sorted elements, and we merge them into a bigger one. Repeat the same steps with the right side, until we get another sorted subarray. Now we can initiate final merge procedure and merge all elements into single array. There were more smaller elements on the left side, so even three numbers left on the right side. They are sorted and have nothing to compare with, so we can just place them as we are in a new sorted array. Merge sort has pretty good time complexity that in all cases is n log n but we need to store full array or some part of it in computer memory so space complexity is linear. Merge sort is stable sorting algorithm. Quick sort is one of the fastest sorting algorithms and probably the most used in various programs. It has a lot of different implementations but the main idea remains the same. Together with explaining how this algorithm works, I would like to show its implementation. 
quick sort like merge sort belongs to divide and conquer algorithm groups. It splits the array into subarrays, and these subarrays are recursively called to sort the elements. Before making any move, we need to make sure that array is not empty. We'll work with the same array, only different part will be sorted at each step. Low and high variables mark the start and end of the analyzed array. If high becomes lower than low, the recursion must stop, because there are no more splits available in the array. Now take a look to see how quick sort works. At first we need to select a pivot. Then other numbers should be rearranged comparing them with a pivot. The pivot can be selected randomly, start or end of the array. Basically it can be any number of a given array, so it depends on how you want to implement this choice. In this case we define it as a median or middle value of a given array. In this slide we have even number of elements, so take the floor of mid value that is fourth element in the array. This means that number 32 is our pivot. Let's mark start and end of the array. In our case low is the first element that is 15 and high is the last element that is 39. Assign iterative variables i and j to be equal to low and high respectively. In the inner or outer loops, low and high variables do not move. With iterators i and j, we go through the array from opposite sides. We iterate steps until the i is lower than j. First, we iterate steps from the beginning of our given array and compare each element with a pivot until we find the element that is higher or equal to a pivot. 15 is less than 32, so we move to the next element. 8 and 2 are less than 32, so we still are moving to the next element. Now we have that 32 is equal to a pivot, so we stop here. At this point we start moving from the right side, or from the end of array. Just this time we check if the compared element is greater than a pivot. 39 is greater than 32, so we move to the next element. 46 is still greater than a pivot, then 26 is lower than 32, so we stop here. Now, if i is lower than j, we swap. By increasing or decreasing iterators, we end up at the same position, so the loop is stopped. If low or high are not reached, we recursively call quicksort again. Only this time, the array is split into two parts where our pointer stopped, and first subarray is provided to quicksort method. Now we have new low and high values. Find a new pivot element and repeat the same steps until there is nothing to split. Element 2 can't be split, so it is sorted and can be marked in green color. Moving on, I reached high value and J reached low value, so recursion also stopped. And all three elements are marked as sorted. All these elements actually are in one array and become sorted after recursion is finished. Here you can see how separate parts are sorted. With previous sorting algorithms I showed animation with blocks in different heights. Let's do the same here. Mark pivot element to be red. Also mark the element from the left side that is compared with a pivot to be in dark blue color and compare the element from the right side light blue color. If there are no splits possible the element is sorted and can be marked as green color. Even though the worst case scenario is quadratic, the algorithm works really fast and space complexity is better than it was in merge sort. Furthermore, quick sort is not stable sorting algorithm. Let's move to another sorting algorithm that is heap sort. I will not show its implementation, only introduce how it works. Heap sort works by extracting elements of the array that is designed to be a special kind of binary tree called a heap. Heap is a complete binary tree that stores elements to satisfy heap property. Each node contains higher value than its children. To extract the element from this tree, you first need to remove the root and replace it with its children. Now element 5 becomes a root. Of course, now heap property is broken, and root has two children that contains higher values. 
We'll fix this by calling a procedure called sift down. We'll gradually move top element downwards until it sinks down where it belongs. At each iteration, we'll swap it with higher of its two children. Now let's take the top element again. Repeat the same steps until the heap is empty. As you may see, extracted element will be placed in sorted order. The heap can be rearranged into array. Root value is in the first position of the array, then goes its children, and so on. Let's say we have 8 numbers that are randomly distributed in the array. To make a heap out of it, we'll execute the procedure called heapify. Execute the procedure sift down for all the elements starting from the lowest element that has children. In our case, it is 8. Now 8 is heapified and marked in light blue color. We'll continue sifting down the rest elements. When a heap is ready, we'll start by removing elements from top and mark these elements as sorted. Removing 46 and replacing it by 8 means that we swap these elements in the array and the last element is marked as sorted. Now sift down the top element, repeat the same steps until the array is sorted. In all cases, heap sort has n log n time complexity. Space complexity is constant, that is a great advantage of this algorithm. However, heap sort is not stable sorting algorithm. That's all about sorting algorithms. Don't miss the conclusion part where all methods will be compared. Thank you for your attention.